Bismillah Rahman Rahim. In this video session, I am going to explain IGCSE question paper 21, May June 2022. Let's start the session. In this video, I have solved only section B. Section A, I did not solve it. You can go to my other video and you will find pre-release material of this paper. Section B, tick one box in each row to identify the most appropriate data type for each description. Only one tick per column. Okay, description. A single character from the keyboard that is a character in which we can enter only a single character, maybe A, B, Y, so on like this. Multiple characters from the keyboard is a string, just like computer knowledge, computing knowledge. Only one of two possible values where you can write one value or other value. Only one of two possible values that is Boolean value. Okay, Boolean variables, Boolean data types. That is yes, no, true and false. Next, only whole numbers. That is integer like 23, 25 and so on. Any numbers that is a real. Give one piece of normal test data and one piece of erroneous test data that could be used to validate the input of an email address. State the reason for your choice in each case, normal test data. Suppose I'm going to write computing knowledge at the rate of gmail.com. This is a normal data, normal and valid data. Why this is normal? Because it contains at the rate of for gmail, for email, we must write at the rate of dot symbol and com om uk like that. Erroneous data test data that is suppose I have written computing knowledge gmail.com I have missed at the rate of and dot after the gmail. It should contains at the rate of and dot symbols in the email address for a valid email address. Otherwise, it is considered as a string. We need to complete this flowchart. That's uh, how many test records are there. There are 60 test results to be entered into the variable score. Variable name is score. Each test result is checked to see if it is 50 or more. 50 or more means greater than or equal to 50. If it is the test result is assigned to the pass array, otherwise it is assigned to the fail array. Complete the flowchart. Okay, first of all, we will start from the start symbol, then pass count equal to zero. Fail count is signed to be zero. Count is also signed to be zero. And then I will write input score. And then I'm going to check a does variable a decision statement that is score greater than or equal to 50. If it is greater than or equal to 50, then it will increment, then it will store score value into the pass array okay by using the pass count index number and if it is less than 50 then it will store that score into fail array by using the fail count index number in if they will use pass count array they will increase the index number pass count equal to pass count plus one and if it will use fail count fail array then it will also increase the Index that is fail count, fail count plus one and count equal to count plus one. And then it will check is count equal to 60. If it will be equal to 60, it will be ended. It means there are 60, st 60 students results have been stored. If it is less than 60, then it then loop will start again and then it will ask to enter the input score. Write a pseudocode routine that will check the each test result entered into the algorithm is between 0 and 100 inclusive. I have written algorithm 1. Check the values between 0 and 100 inclusive. First of all, I will ask to input score. Variable name is score and input is a input statement. And uh, here I have applied a loop while score less than 0 or score greater than greater than 100 then do what they will do they will display a one message values must be between 0 and 100 inclusive and then it will ask again to input score 
that is a statement inside the loop okay and then it will be ended it means by using this algorithm they must be enter the value between 0 and 100 write a pseudocode routine that will check the test result entered into the algorithm between 0 and 100 inclusive this is algorithm one this is the code that i have written in python programming language and then this is the output if you will enter the value it will ask to enter the value suppose you have entered 654 that is greater than 100 and uh, it will ask you to again input the value and now this time you have written minus 98 that is the less than zero and it will ask to again enter the value and it will ask until you will enter the value between 0 to 100 now in this case you have entered 45 and 45 is a valid number next one the su the pseudocode represents an algorithm this is div algorithm that will give you the deviance for example y equal to 9 div equal to 4 gives the value y equal to 2 that is the answer that is the quotient and in case of mode function it will give you a remaining value that is the remainder okay first of all it will start from the beginning that is first will get the value 0 and last will get the value also 0 and then they will ask to input limit and input limit is 8 that is the first element that is the first value that is given in the question paper and then it will start for counter equal to 1 to limit and value of limit is 8 it means this loop will start from 1 to 8 it means it will run this loop 8 times 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 till 8 input value and next input value is 66 and it will check if value greater than equal to 100 in value contains 66 value is a variable that contains 66 is greater than equal to 100 no this is false okay 66 is not greater than 100 okay then what they will do if it is not true then whole of the conditions that is under of this will be terminated will be skipped now in this case these all part will be skipped and then it will move to the next counter and next counter they will move to the again at the at the top of the loop that is far counter far counter one to limit two now this time they will increment in one in variable counter now value of counter will become two it will ask to enter the value now this time you have entered 606 and then it will check value greater than equal to 100 value contains a 606 it means that is a greater 606 is greater than equal to 100 this condition is true then the control will enter into this condition and then it will check another condition this is true first condition is true then it will check another condition that is value less than equal less than 1000 value contains 606 less than 1000 606 is less than 1000 this is again true this condition is also true then control will enter to the next statement and next statement is written first we'll get the value value div 100 if you will divide 606 by 100 then you will get quotient is 6 okay mean division will give you the quotient and mode function will give you the remainder value and in this case remainder value is also 6 and then it will check in other condition if first equal to last then they will display the output that is 606 then low will move to the next counter it will increase a 1 value into the variable counter now value of counter will become 3 and it will move from till 8 now next input value is 6226 and it will check the next condition 6226 is greater than or equal to 100 yes this condition is true and next it will check another condition that is nested if if value is less than 1000 this is false because 6226 is greater than 1000 in this case this condition is false and 
after this this type of statement that i have highlighted will be skipped next it will move to the next counter and then value will become the 4 counter value is 4 and then it will ask to enter a new value and new value is 8448 and it will check the first condition 8448 is greater than or equal to 100 yes it is true okay and then it will ch check in other condition that is nested if and now in this case 8448 less than 1000 that is wrong okay now if this part of statement will be skipped that i have highlighted with the red color next it will move to the next counter and it will increase a value one that will become the five now value of counter is five it will take an input that is next input value is six or uh, six hundred forty two it will check the condition that uh, this value is greater than or equal to 100 yes obviously 642 is greater than or equal to 100 and then it will ch check another nested if if value is less than 1642 is less than 1000 okay then it will move to the statement that is the value that is the div function and div function will give you the quotient okay first value division by, by divisible by 100 and it will give you 6 last value and uh, because uh, number is 642 if you will divide it by 2 it if if you will divide it by 10 then it will give you the value is 2 okay then it will check if first and last value of first is 6 value of last is 2 okay then or they will no display in the value that is output value okay output will not display because first and last have different values next it will move the next value counter it will increase one value that is number six and uh, six will contain the value in counter and then next value is input value is seven seven hundred forty seven and it will check if value greater than or equal to hundred mean that is seven 147 is greater than 100 yes that is condition is true and then it will check again nested if condition that is 747 is less than 1000 yes it is true and then the vn function will return 7 and mode function will return again 7 and in this case first and last having the same value and if both have the same value then it will display the output that is 747 then it will move to the next value and next value of counter will become the 7 and next input value is 77 they will check 77 is greater than or equal to 100 that is wrong this condition is wrong and now this much the statement will be skipped next it will move to the next counter and next counter value will become the 8 and next input value is 121 121 is greater than 100 greater than equal to 100 yes it is true and next it will check another nested if statement if value is less than 1000 yes 121 is less than 1000 then it will move to the division function that will return 1 and then then mode function that will return also one and both first and last have the same value if they have same value then it will display the variable output and output contains the value that is 121 in this way the value of counter will become the 9 and then 9 is not a part of the loop because loop will execute from 1 to 8 after this this uh, loop will be terminated describe the purpose of this algorithm the purpose of this algorithm is it will display the output only if a number must consist of three digits and the first and last digit should be the same a computer shop record its stock level in a database table called game the field use these are the field use that you can read in the table and question is state the number of fields that are used in the table games there are eight fields in the table one two three four five six seven eight and next question is state one important fact that must be true for a valid to be a primary key gmail game id field 
should be a primary key because it should not repeat it. Then complete the query where which field you want to display. You want to display the game ID. I have written game ID, then game name, then game price and number of stock. I don't want to show number of stock, but I will be uh, add into this table in query. Then on order that is these all fields belongs to a game table i will show game id game name game price number stock should be equal to zero and order should be yes so i have uh, completed this paper and if you have any question please you can ask me thank you jazakallah khair